Welcome back friends. Uh, in this video, we are going to see about the integration of an IS element into a chromosomal DNA of bacterial cell. Now, uh, in this case, what we can see in this picture, which is pretty fairly illustrated here, that we are having this IS element. An IS element, as we know, consisting of two different parts. One is the insertion uh, sequence element contain, uh, gene uh, region, which uh, codes for uh, the, uh, those uh, resolvase protein and as well as codes for the transposase protein, which are needed uh, for cutting of these genes and pasting of these genes. And second thing is these inverted repeats, th which are uh, inverted frank uh, franking repeats. And this repeat, what they can do uh, with the help of this repeat, uh, this part of the IS element can easily be attached to the target site of uh, the chromosomal DNA of bacterial cell. Now here what we are having, we are having this uh, particular special location where uh, this IS element is to be incorporated and this is uh, how it is incorporated. So with the help of the transposase protein, it initiates the cut from, uh, from this inverted repeat sequences and then uh, it put on to this, uh, it hold on to this structure of IS element, it take this structure with itself and then uh, ultimately it attaches itself with the target site, it recognizes the target site. Now this IR elements are very very good at recognizing this but also it codes for the enzyme tra tra transposase. Now remember this transposase is a multifunctional enzyme in all the cases of transposition of IS elements because IS element generally cannot code for other type of proteins, it codes for only few proteins like this transposes. So transposes have to do other work for uh, this IS elements, right? So IS element code for them, or they help this IS elements to be cleaved and then finally take it and finally attach themselves into the target site of a particular DNA. Okay, then it initiates a cut onto here and attach this IS element onto it. And right after the attachment, what we, what we have seen, we have seen that there is a, a little bit a stretch of the gap at the both of the terminal region at the uh, attachment site. Now this gap have to be resealed. Now this gap is filled by the DNA polymerase and the DNA ligase, normal uh, machinery or normal uh, I mean, uh, protein sec proteins which are uh, needed for the replication of DNA bacterial uh, or bacterial DNA chrome DNA or chromosome. Now, uh, bacteria utilize all these proteins of like uh, polymerase, like ligase to reseal this gap and form new DNA. And as a result, what we can see, we can see this. Uh, we have inserted the IS elements onto our target DNA and not only insert th uh, this into the target DNA but you can also see the very very important feature of uh, this which is uh, this is the IR element up to and these are the regions which are common in both the site of this DNA and one stretch of the DNA is a host DNA which has been carried out uh, during this IS transfer and, and another uh, in the opposite strand a small stretch uh, we are having is new DNA which is newly being formed okay so that's how it has been transferred. Okay. 